Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to a new World of Warships video. This time I'm playing in the Tier 3 American cruiser, the San Luis, or as you Yankee dogs call it, the St. Louis. But, uh, anywho, uh, we're just rolling up here on uh, whatever this map is called, I don't know. But, uh, anywho, we're mo going to move up uh, towards the northeastern end of the map, to where all these islands are around the capture point. We have a target spotted somewhere. Um, this is a post commentary gameplay. But, uh, anywho, so there he is. San Luis, another one. So we have uh, a nice convoy rolling on through here, through the uh, mighty ocean. There he is. Some friendlies getting some shots on him already so yeah as you can see here just fire pouring in from all of our friendly ships over here um, we aren't firing a full broadside but I'm trying to turn in so I can get all the guns on one side to shoot at them but this gun certainly carry or this uh, ship sorry certainly carries a lot of 152 millimeter naval guns Certainly able to do close to um, around a thousand damage uh, with two shots, so close to maybe five, um, 500 damage per shot, firing high explosive like I am right now. That looks like a Chester, yep, it's a Chester, and this little Chester uh, is wishing that he didn't come through this little area right about now, getting just destroyed by all of our guns, not only on my St. Louis, but this uh, St. Louis guns in front of me. Just the amount of fire that the St. Louis can dish out is amazing. And some might say overpowered, but uh, very well. Uh, just starting to light up this uh, enemy St. Louis here. putting shots on them, shot after shot going in. The reload on this uh, 152mm guns is uh, surprisingly quick, so that means that you can just keep dishing out the damage uh, whenever you want. Just bombard, bombardment of the enemy ships. A San Luis who thinks that you can escape through the map boundaries. Nice hit on them there, uh, 2,400 damage. Another salvo going in. I see that uh, if I don't turn uh, here quickly, I'm going to run into the uh, rock area. So I start turning around. Now one of the good things about the San Luis is that um, basically each side has an equal amount of guns. That means that you can just keep turning in circles. Just absolutely destroying the enemy. So that means that if one of your turrets gets knocked out for say on the left side, you can turn the whole ship around and have a new batch of 152mm guns ready to fire. Alright, first kill there on the enemy San Luis. Some enemy ships moving up here. Alright, so now we've turned our attention to these guys, not sure which target to hit, but uh, thankfully we were putting some nice shots onto that enemy ship there. Got our second kill. Another bombardment uh, broadside, whatever you want to call it, going out. Just absolutely devastating these ships here. I mean, you, this has arguably better firepower. Even though the guns aren't as big as battleship guns, they certainly can do a lot more damage than battleships. And in fact, this tier 3 cruiser has more hit points by 500 than the South Carolina tier 3 battleship. So a little fun fact there. This thing, it's not really, you know, it's not going to be zooming around like some, uh, uh, destroyer or anything but it certainly uh, goes pretty uh, quick certainly not super fast but good enough to get 
job done. Missed our first shots there on this enemy San Luis, it looks like. Alright, two of these beasts coming up on our starboard bow. We're gonna start firing, or continue firing on this um, low health, kind of medium health San Luis. Dodging, uh, or at least trying to dodge some shots that are coming in from the other enemy San Luis that's uh, farther away. But still uh, pouring it in the fire. I'm on fire, use my damage uh, control, whatever it is, damage repair, whatever. Uh, basically a repair kit to set out the fires. Still continuing to put some nice shots into this San Luis. Another salvo going in. Bam, I mean that's just the firepower of this ship. It can do massive amounts of damage. Alright, we're on fire again, except our damage control, damage repair, whatever, is uh, out of action. Uh-oh, South Carolina? No problem, comrade. We are just going to unload on this guy, who looks like he's tunnel visioning on someone else. So, still on fire, you know. But we're going to start uh, turning the uh, ship around. So I can start opening fire on uh, this dumb battleship here. Now the battleship drivers are, well not really drivers, but whatever, are kind of the same as heavy tank drivers in World Tanks. They usually like to pick a target, focus on it, sometimes pay attention, but most of the time if they're uh, kind of medium players like I am, um, they usually kind of get tunnel visioned. But uh, very well, we get our third kill on this uh, South Carolina battleship that looks like a Kwachi uh, battleship going up here. Taking fire from somewhere. Now at, thir at first I thought that it was the uh, a friendly, but I'm pretty sure that it's a uh, sneaky Saint Louis. Took a big hit there from the Kwachi, it looks like. Use our repair kit. Uh, to uh, get that uh, gun turret back in action. Here's the San Luis that was uh, off our starboard bow a couple minutes ago. He's coming back for some revenge and uh, he's gonna get it. But we aren't gonna go down without a fight. We keep pouring broadside after broadside into this guy. On fire again. Not surprising. Um, the high explosive is always shot from the San Luis. But there we go. The San Luis has been sunk by a San Luis. And here we watch elegantly as this slugger of a tank, not a tank, a ship, is uh, laid to rest at the bottom of this mysterious ocean. Alright, let's move on to the post game stat. Excellent game there. Coming in with close to 80,000 credits, 1,500 uh, experience, and 77 uh, for experience, and no one really cares. And, uh, you know, a nice hefty 1,000 uh, base experience game. That's sort of double the uh, enemy. Here's some more details, some of the damage that I've done. You can take a look at that yourself. But, uh, anywho, thanks guys for watching this San Luis video, and I'll see you next time.